Hey, let me ask you a question. Yeah, what's up? Let me hear it. All right. Where would you put your – okay, let's take all of the Jaguar fan fandom together. Where would you – okay, so the people that live in Jacksonville are pretty, like, loud and vocal. Mm-hmm. Where would you – on that scale, where would you put the people of, like, London? London? I mean, well, that's the – I I know one. I really know one guy really well in London. You were, you were talking earlier about how you thought like you had more of a base in London and you may know more people in London that follow the Jags, but like I don't. And I know Patrick Jackson, obviously second shout out to him, but he deserves it. And, <laughs> and freaking, um, you know, and it's like the Jags lost those two games in London and you didn't really hear anything from like the London community about it. And, you know, so I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't say that it's as comparable. I wouldn't compare it really. I would, I would say that it's actually, it's not, not that it's comparable because obviously the city that you're in is going to be way more, but yeah. I was surprised by the amount of um, participation from the London crowd and Twitter. We had these people that were constantly asking questions and giving input and putting their opinions out there that I thought were actually really good opinions. So I kept talking about them. I kept putting them out there. And as time went on, I'm like, dude, a bunch of these guys are like from the UK. And yeah. I'm like, holy crap, like this fan base has grown. Like, like we actually have a pretty concentrated pocket in London of fans. And so like we're in Jaguars media and I've noticed from my stuff, like my London participation and interaction online is like pretty high up there. Like it's, it was surprising. I'm not saying it's, it's the same, but I'm saying it was like, it definitely stood out to me. I was like, whoa, like, like what, like people aren't going to want to hear this. This, People are not going to want to hear this. What Shad Khan and doing is doing in London is actually might be working as far as raising the Jaguar fandom in that area. And I would say to that, you're spitting a hundred percent facts. Like people don't want to hear that, but it's what we said earlier, you know, Sean Khan's a businessman. That's what he is at the end of the day and what he's doing for business, for marketing, everything in between. I think he's doing a good job too. Yeah. I mean, people are like, he doesn't know football. He doesn't claim to know football. He's not, yeah. he's not claiming to be Jerry Jones, like calling the plays. He's like, yeah, you're right. I hired Tom Coughlin because everybody in Jacksonville at the time was like, hire Tom Coughlin. He's available. Yeah, exactly. He's coming off of two Dude, Super Bowls. That's, that's <laughs> what I don't get is like people want to hate on Tom Coughlin all you want, and you can, and I get it, and I really do. I really do. It was <laughs> shitty. I hated it too. I'll never forget I was recording a Jaguar Maven podcast with John when he got fired. And, like, we had to stop it. And, like, it was, I just remember that. But, <laughs> but like, everybody wanted that. There was not a single fan in the world that was not hyped about that move. Exactly. I mean, people, before the move was made, was like, everyone was like, hire Coughlin. Coughlin's available. Coughlin's hard-nosed. He's going to hold these, these players accountable. And these players that are doing their own thing, he's going to – we'll just get back on Coughlin time. And everyone was all hyped about Coughlin. And then it was like, oh, how dare you hire Tom Coughlin? How could you do that? And it's like, like if, if people could just like back the scope up and look at what the perception was of the team then, like we were no good before Coughlin. We had Gus Bradley and Mike Malarkey and Jack Del Rio with some we bad years. I mean, it's just like, if you're sh- like, what I always tell people is I was like, if you were Shot Con, you would have hired Tom Coughlin too. And that's the bottom line. And he was terrible and Coughlin was horrible and he gave us a horrible reputation. The NFLPA sent out stuff saying don't sign in Jacksonville, which is as bad as it gets. Yeah. But we still got Joe Schobert. We still got Tyler Eifert. You know, we got Norwell to restructure his deal, meaning he wants which to be Which is great, here. by the way. I think Absolutely. About that. Great move. So, it's, you know, we'll see. I mean, who would we have missed out on if the NFLPA didn't put that out there? I think people like coming to Florida and playing golf and fishing. If you look at Tyler Eifert's – twitter all his posts are from fishing and and playing golf like he's rubbing it in his former teammates face yeah for real no one you can't do that in ohio snowing (laughs) in ohio (laughs) but 